So as we can see the image is way way too big so let's scale it down. So select the layer where you have the image and click on first zoom out for a little bit. You can hold alt key and press and you will zoom out. Then select the free transform tool and simply hold shift and scale down the image then just move it to a front side part after you're pleased with the image size just click on enter then let's zoom in so the first thing I would like to do is to remove this background so the clouds and these trees because I want to add some other parts in the back of the house so let's begin with that. So I'll try to remove this background, so the clouds, the trees, with pen tool. So first let's zoom in and create a selection around the house with pen tool. So now select the pen tool and let's begin. So whenever you deselect the pen, so if you want, if you let's say choose in the middle of the work zoom tool or any other tool, you will have to when you want to continue with working with pen tool, just click on the last anchor point, and then you can continue with your work. I will speed up the process. If you have the same problem like I have now, you will have to solve it with direct selection tool. So select the direct selection tool and move these handles a little bit in. And then just release it and you will solve the problem. Then just continue with the work. So again click on pen tool and click on last anchor point and continue with the work. Again, I have the same problem, so, so again, solve it with direct selection tool. You can use also the convert point tool. Then just choose the pen tool and continue with the work. Now let's just finish the selection. So go around the image. And click on the first anchor point to finish this selection. Now I will just use the direct selection tool and the convert points tool to adjust the selection a little bit more. So let's again zoom in and 
and go slowly through the whole selection. Don't worry if the selection is not tight. We will fix that with a few further steps. So continue with checking the selection. By the way, if you want to move like this, you will have to hold the space bar and simply then click with left mouse button to move. So the selection is pretty much good. Now click on path selection tool and click on the screen with right mouse button. Then choose make selection and click on OK. And the next thing you will have to do is to click on the house layer. So the, on the layer where you have house stored and then just click on delete button. But before we click on the delete button, I will just rename this layer. And I will make the selection a little bit smoother. To do that, you will have to click on select and then refine edge. Choose the type of view and then just simply adjust the selection, so the smoothness, the featherness, and so on. I will just first zoom a little bit in the image. So let's just increase a little bit the smoothness. The other thing is pretty much all right. So just click on OK. And click simply the Delete button. Then let's deselect the selection, so click select and deselect. Let's take a look. So we will have to fix a few things over here. So go and choose Eraser. Decrease the size of the Eraser. Now I will show you the simple technique with Eraser. So just click once with the Eraser, then move the Eraser to the other place and then hold the Shift down and click again. And you can see you are erasing in straight lines from the first selection to the second selection. So let's repeat the process. So first click, then move to other place, hold Shift down and click again. So just repeat the process. First click, hold down the shift key and click again. And again click, hold down the shift key and click again. With that process we will make this look much much better. So let's repeat the process again. Let's now zoom in a little bit and continue with the same process. Let's now change the hardness to 100 and softly delete these gray pixels.
and we are done. Now let's take a look what we have done till now. So as you can see now it's much much better. So just use the simple technique with eraser to achieve this. So let's continue with the project. The next thing I would like to do is to remove this plant from the image. So to achieve that I will simply use stamp tool. So click on clone stamp tool and simply adjust the hardness so I will just leave the hardness to zero and then click with alt button and take a sample move the mouse and simply click with left mouse button and start with drawing and again click on alt take a new sample and start drawing and then repeat the process so let's continue and remove this item so again take a sample and simply draw let's also remove the shadows you can take a sample and click just once let's change the hardness let's increase it for a little bit and then use this, the same process let's also remove this one so let's just create the shadow bigger let's try to fix the line with the same process this should do the trick let's see the result it looks pretty much alright let's now select the patch tool and choose here destination and simply make a selection let's say over here and take it and put it here and make this more realistic now let's remove the rest of the plant so zoom in and use the stamp tool again and follow the same process So the main thing here is just to take the sample and then just draw and you're as you can see you're painting from that sample let's again select the patch tool and choose destination and just make a selection and move the selection here and hold and again move it and just click away 
and we are done. As you can see, it is hard to know that, that it was a plant before over here. So for the end, let's remove the plant from the window with the same process. Let's use the patch tool again. Select the destination. And then just move the selection. Let's zoom a little bit in and finish the, the job. So let's try to remove this part also. I mean to replace it with a different color. Let's use patch tool. And again, make the same selection. and move it again here. Let's see the result.